everybody, my name is Olivia and welcome back to this channel. You've probably realised I'm not Jen. I'm not. My name is Olivia and I'm a year 11 student and I'm currently taking my GCSEs. I've come onto this channel today to share with you some of my last minute revision tips, things that you can do the night before, the week before. I have eight tips in total. I'm treating you all, I know. I feel like these tips might be quite useful for anybody out there who is stuck on how to revise or what to do the night before the exam, or like how to cover as much content as you can if you haven't started revising yet. Thank you for having me on this channel. I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. I also have a YouTube channel if you wanna go and subscribe. It's called Simply Olivia. It would be pretty cool if you went over and subscribed. I'm currently vlogging my GCSEs and I know you're probably thinking like, why the hell are you doing that? I film study with me's, I do normal vlogs, I film kind of like lifestyle videos, I guess. Basically, I do the whole shebang. I don't think I have anything else to say so without further ado let's just get on with the revision tips. My first tip is something that you should do the night before. I've done this the night before every single one of my science exams, my English exams and my maths exams. I 100% recommend watching summary videos. Now you can find these summary videos on YouTube. Obviously Primrose Kitten does the maths and the science ones. They just condense everything into like an hour video or like 40 minutes or whatever which isn't really that long. It'll cover everything in a lot quicker time than you could do it because watching that video in an hour you could probably do like one topic and it just covers the whole spec you shouldn't try the night before to learn the whole spec in one night i definitely try to do that on my first day stop this channel obviously does ones for science and math uh good english people obviously mr bruff everybody knows about mr bruff you've got stacy ray I'm not really sure for any other subjects i'm 100 percent sure you can find on youtube just like type in obviously summary videos for whatever subject it is you're doing and you'll be able to find one. Another tip I have is obviously YouTube videos. There are probably hundreds of videos. If you're doing history and you need to find a certain video topic or whatever, search a YouTube video and it'll help you. The textbook can only like tell you so much. Obviously, it's not quite the same as somebody talking it through. I feel like watching the videos, if I don't understand something, especially in science, if I don't understand something, I will come over and watch like maybe free science lessons or something. YouTube is honestly here to help you, as cringy as that sounds. Another tip I have is condensing your notes onto sticky notes. Read over your notes and then kind of like test yourself, I guess. Look over the specification and just see anything that you honestly do not know. Condense it all onto a sticky note and stick it somewhere that you'll always see it. Or even just have like a pile of like sticky notes or flashcards. So obviously we're two weeks away from exams. So you shouldn't really be making notes right now unless you want to, what the learners like, kinesthetic. I don't know if I've made that up, a writing learner. If that's your way of revision and writing stuff down helps you, I would recommend doing that. If you don't really know how to revise, don't sit and make notes now because it's gonna take you ages, you'll get more stressed because you've got so much to cover. You can find notes anywhere on the internet. Use pre-made notes, you have so little time sorry to break it to you i wouldn't waste the valuable time that you do have because you'll probably regret it later so just use pre-made notes because that will save a massive chunk on your time and you can probably cover a lot more than you could making notes this is something that i've been doing like recently quite a lot especially for history is blurting you read over your notes and then you write down like the topic so if it's like cell biology for example you write down everything you can about like cell biology that you can remember you can use the sticky notes like i said before and write anything that you forgot obviously that's stuff that you need to try and remember another one i've got last minute practice questions now i know you're probably like oh my god i've done so many practice papers or so many practice questions honestly same again um primary skitten does have practice questions that you can use physics and maths tutor he has like free science maths english history i think history and english language i've just been getting a question and just writing a plan don't really want to sit and write an exam question i've got like 13 exams next week don't really want to be writing a lot just kind of making sure that you know and you can apply the knowledge that you've learned and like technique or you know how to answer the question basically practice questions practice papers are obviously going to be your best friend right now this is another thing that you can probably do like the night before could probably help you the week before is doing quizzes okay but if you have the knowledge already you can just do quizzes to kind of like make sure it's kind of like an ease off like the heavy revision just applying your knowledge and like kind of seeing what you know you've also got seneca seneca is really really good i'm pretty sure like the whole world uses seneca it's all well and good knowing the knowledge but if you can't apply it 
what you're gonna do. My final tip are just kind of like basic tips. So recording your voice, I know loads of people say that. I don't personally use it, but a lot of my friends use it and say that it's really helpful. Recording you, reading over your notes and then listening to it. You can listen to it when you're in the car, when you're on the train, when you're going to bed, a listening learner. Um, recording your voice will be really, really helpful for you because obviously it's using your ears. I really don't know where I'm going with this. A lot of people do say this, but trying to teach it to someone else. In my studies music, you probably see a lot of clips of me like talking. I do do this a lot. I do do this a lot. I basically speak out loud and pretend I'm kind of like teaching it to someone. Um, I find it really, really useful. But those were all my tips. I hope you did like them. I hope you found any kind of new ways to revise in the upcoming weeks. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you Jen for having me on your channel. It means a lot. If you did enjoy this video make sure you do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed watching me, um, obviously like I said I do have a YouTube channel which you can go and subscribe to if you want to. Good luck in your exams. Uh, you know it's only two weeks and then it's summer so that's all I'm thinking right now. That's all I have to say so thank you for watching this video and I'm gonna go, so bye.